Absolutely not. This is strictly R&D for our new line. You are so trying to shop with me. Hey. Hey. Uncle Lucas, can I help you fix Aunt Payton's car? Hey, sure, buddy. Careful. So this is no problem, him hanging out with you? Yeah, I could use the company anyway. Everything okay? It's Peyton. <laughs> I, I, I found her putting together a time capsule. Or a, a just-in-case capsule. Oh. That's what I thought. It's just, you know, weird. I'm approaching what's supposed to be the most exciting moment in my entire life with nothing but complete and utter fear. You want to hear your secret? The day Jamie was born, I was petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different, though, you know? I mean, what if something happens to Pete? God, I don't know how we got this far. Well, you got this far because it's what she wanted. You know, it's like when Karen lets you play basketball with your HCM. She knew how bad you wanted it, so she just held her breath and let you play. We all did, you know? Maybe, maybe this is the time you have to hold your breath for Peyton. She wants to get married. So do you. Propose, remember? She wants to get married right away. And it all just worries me. Well, as worried as you are, think about how scared she is. And look. If you had one more day to spend with Peyton, would you rather spend it arguing or just being married? Hey, you ready? For what? Peyton's baby shower, you didn't forget, did you? You sure she wants me there? Of course, I'm sure. The invitation was addressed to both of us, you knucklehead. Are you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So everything's going okay with, you know, my mom? Yeah. Yeah. How do you get there? Um. The house? You know, she gave me up when she was my age. Where is that? She said she didn't want to, but her parents made her do it. Well, I can relate to having crummy parents who make bad decisions. You know, it's funny. I've always wanted to live in a house with a white picket fence. Well, we can have a picket fence if you want. You can have any kind of fence you want. I'll just wait for you to get dressed. You know, if it's okay, can I just meet you there? Yeah. I'll see you at Peyton's. I don't I don't Right, it might be you having the slutty wedding size. Gotta wear more suits. Knock, knock. Hey. Hi, you look nice. Oh, thank you. Now get out of that ratty thing and try on one of these tuxes. I didn't know exactly what size you were because I couldn't ask Peyton because I want to surprise her. Look, you didn't have to do that. I know. But if a girl's gonna have a last-minute shotgun wedding, the least her boy can do is rock a little Hugo Boss. Now go. I will wait. Mm. <laughs> Hell of a view. Hey. Yeah, it's really beautiful out here, isn't it? 
I didn't mean that. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, I was worried <laughs> about you. Did you practice run late? Yeah. Mm. Well, your suit's in with Lucas. You should probably go get changed. Okay. Uh, where's the boy? He's a skills. God help us. He's <sighs> really excited to see his dad. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to see his mom. I am loving this whole you going away and coming back. Haley, I love you. Thanks, baby. I love you, too. And voila. Now that is more like it. OK, there's a tux in there for Nathan. I got his sizes from Haley. I need to go change now. Hey, Brooke, you, uh, you got a second? Uh, yeah. Well, look, I know you don't have a date for the wedding. It was kind of last minute, dude. All right, well, maybe I invited someone there. Lucas, you cannot do that to me. First of all, I am not anybody's pity date. And second, what does he look like? Hi, Sam, it's me. No, everything's fine. I was just thinking. I was wondering, how's your life? Are you happy? Days like New lead coming out of commercial. Is this for real? Look up at the sky yeah. above you. Woo! Sorry. Days like Jamie, sports is up next. What's the big deal? I got Wi Fi on my phone. You think Get over you here and watch with us. Last night in the NBA, the Charlotte Bobcats quietly made a move that most sports fans wouldn't have noticed, adding a point guard to their roster for the rest of the season. But we're leading with that story because this point guard is a local legend who overcame adversity and difficult circumstances in pursuit of a dream. Last night, the Charlotte Bobcats called up a former Tree Hill Raven, a great guy and a good friend, Nathan Scott. Jamie Scott, hug your dad for all of us because he just made it to the NBA and we couldn't be more proud. In other news around the league, the Los Angeles Clippers are one. Jamie. Yeah, you think about the ones who win before you. I knew you could do it! <laughs> You're gonna kill him for you play the game, buddy. Have you ever seen the sky in such a clear blue? Supposed to be dead months ago. I just want to wake up and see your face next. I used to wonder why I was still alive. And then I realized I'm not. I'm dead. And this is my hell. Lucas got married and had a baby girl. Nathan, he's got Jamie. And I get to see the happiest moments of their lives, but I don't get to feel those moments. I don't get to be a part of their lives. You created that, Danny. Please. Please. Maybe you're still here for redemption.
I just came to tell my coach I made it to the NBA. Such a 